YouTube. It's your boy CJ the Taurus here again with another unboxing. And today we're going to be unboxing the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I've been waiting for this phone for a long time. Maybe not as long as I was waiting for these uh, Galaxy Buds that you see there in the background. Um, but, you know, uh, I have been following the specs of this phone for pr pretty much since the Galaxy S10 Plus came out. Um, actually, I'm sorry, the, the Galaxy Note 10 uh, came out. So this is fresh off of the hills of the Note 10. Um, they, they went straight to the Galaxy S20. Um, I believe the advertising was for 2020. Uh, it's a new, you know, take on the Galaxy phones. Uh, of course, you guys know that we have Galaxy Folds and Galaxy uh, Z Flips and all types of stuff coming out now. So um, I'm going to look at this phone. I haven't really seen if it has any edges or um, if it doesn't have any edges at all. But I think they're kind of getting away from the edge market and starting to try to get into the market of folding phones or foldable phones instead and having their regular lineup as uh, a, like a flat phone, pretty much like most of the other phones are out there on the market. Um, but without further ado, I know you guys came here for an unboxing, so that is what you are going to get. Now, um, already on, at the bottom of the box here, you guys can see that this is a 5G phone. I am on the best network for that, which is T-Mobile. Um, so we're going to get into this and I'm going to do a review probably a week from now to tell you guys exactly how uh, 5G is working out for me. But let's go ahead and get into this unboxing here. We've got our little unboxing knife that we're going to initiate with. Yes. Yes. That cut was more perfect than, than the one that I did on the Galaxy Buds. So the box is still intact. Go ahead and get into this. Oh, man, would you look at that? You can see Wolverine right there in the background. That's my boy right there. Oh my goodness, what an astounding phone. This looks gorgeous. I, I really don't even want to take it out of the box here, but it's an unboxing, so oh, look at it. I already know this thing is going to be a fingerprint magnet. Man, look at that camera. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer here. Wow. Guys, I'm telling you, this phone looks amazing. I don't know, I don't know if the video is showing it as much justice as it deserves because this thing looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down right here. Put that to the side. Let's see what else we got in here. So we got a little, I don't know what this is. I guess this was just a divider. Got a little divider there. SIM cards, all that stuff. Just going to put it to the side. We've got a USB Type-C charging cable in there, which we, we kind of knew that that was going to be in the box. Now, this is their new charger. If you guys have never seen their new charger, so... This is USB-C to USB-C. It is not USB-C um, to, to a, like a regular USB port. Um, so you're going to want to take your charger with you places because this is going to be the fastest charger that you can possibly charge the phone with. Um, now, you can charge with other chargers. Uh, it just won't charge as quickly as it would if you charge with this charger that comes out of the box. Now, we also have some AKG um, headphones. I don't, I'm trying to get into focus here, AKG. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how these headphones look because this phone does not have a headphone jack. So Samsung has finally got to the point where they're not going to be including headphone jacks on their phone. 
which is um, it's sad in a way because they were one of the last one of the last of the uh, manufacturers that were actually uh, still doing the uh, headphone jack. So now we no longer have a headphone jack, but that's why I wanted to show you guys the headphones because we now have the headphones with the USB-C adapter at the bottom of them instead. Of course, you guys can see these little ear pieces, um, rubber ear tips that come with it. Now, I won't really be using these as much um, I'll probably use I'll probably test them out and see how they sound uh, quality wise and I'll give you guys my impression on that in the review of the phone um, but for now I don't think I mean well for day-to-day -day usage I'm not gonna be using those of course I've got these bad boys right here so don't really need any other headphones and I'm actually glad that I invested in those because now I see Samsung is no longer doing the headphone jacks pour one out for the headphone jacks and um, I really don't know what this is. This is this was a little small box that was down here. It's probably like a semi jack tool or something. Samsung used to come every Samsung phone used to come with a semi jacker tool, or maybe maybe it was just a prop to to prop the phone up. I I think that's probably what it was. Uh, just just something added for presentation wise. Um, but yeah, guys, this was the unboxing of the beautiful Galaxy S twenty. Ultra. I'm going to show you guys one more time. This phone, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this phone is ridiculously huge. This is a huge phone. Um, and you know what? Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on for the first time for you guys on camera. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Man, this thing looks <sighs> guys. I'm I'm really impressed. And there we have it. There we have it. We are literally in the game, guys. So I'm gonna go Let's ahead. Get started. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the steps. Samsung has guys, I just want to say Samsung has come a really far way, a really long way uh, from where they used to be. I have been on the Galaxy since the Galaxy S1. Um, I think the only Galaxy I, I never owned was the Galaxy S2. And I can tell you guys, the setup process has come a long way. The phone has come a long way. The UI has come a long way. Samsung is really, they're kicking ass and taking names, guys. I just, I just, I'm really impressed with what they're, what they have going on. And you guys probably saw earlier in the intro where I showed the Xbox controller and the Xbox game next to uh, the phone. That is because I have another segment on this channel called Break Time on xCloud9. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, it is where I literally go on break at work and I play an Xbox game on my phone through Project xCloud. And um, this phone right here is going to change the game for me because we have 120 hertz refresh rate. Um, we also have uh, better internet speed through the 5G uh, so this is going to be a really interesting time for me and for you guys to see exactly how impressive and how powerful this phone really is and can be. And I don't know, guys, I'm just really excited about this. If you guys want to see everything that I have in store for this phone and this store has in, in, this, this store, this phone has in store for us, definitely like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of This Corner of Galaxy. Peace. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is CJ again. I just wanted to take this time out before I actually left you guys and say a huge thanks to Samsung and everybody who had a part in making the Galaxy S10+. Plus. This phone right here was such a, an amazing phone. Very great experience. Um, it really showed the culmination of everything that Samsung has done in the past with their phones um, and, and even the things that they're doing in the future with their phone. And I really do appreciate the phone itself and the company for always being innovators. Um, like I said in the, in the video earlier, I've been on Galaxy since 
the Galaxy S1, the only one that I did not own was the Galaxy S2. And I remember, I, I honestly remember uh, the Galaxy S3, getting my Galaxy S3, and they had a feature on there where when you look at the phone, the phone knows that you're looking at it, so the screen won't turn off. And I don't know if these phones still have that feature. I'm not sure. Um, there were so many people complaining that those features were gimmicky and stuff like that. So uh, one thing about Samsung is, you know, if you don't like it, they're gonna they're gonna take it off of the phone, um, which is unfortunate because you know some of these features are really cool. I remember the Galaxy S4 where uh, you could literally look. Say you were looking at your grocery list in the, in the store. You're pushing the basket. You're holding your phone in one hand, and you could literally look towards the bottom of the screen, and the screen would scroll down for you. You wouldn't even have to touch the screen. Or if you look more towards the top of the screen, the screen would scroll up for you. And as long as you kind of practiced it and knew how, you know, the feature worked, the feature really did come in handy. And a lot of people shot it down. Um, mainly people who didn't have it on their phones or didn't really understand the concept of it um, and you know it was taken away but you know just features and, and and things like that that really make Samsung stand out I just have to say guys congratulations to you guys on the Galaxy S20 Ultra and I cannot wait to start using this phone this is gonna be a great experience I already know so um, again guys like subscribe check out my other videos and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.